Well, I hate it when that happens. Um, hadn't driven Maynard in like two days. Been really cold. Went out to uh, bring it home from the other place after the uh, turkey coma wore off. And um, this is what I got. I did drive it home, but uh, that was only because it was fairly late at night and no traffic and only a mile or two. So it uh, kind of runs. Anyway, it ran fine the last time I drove it, and now it don't run. So, what I've done is uh, changed the fuel filter because I noticed it was kind of seepy up here. And um, anyway, it's got plenty of fuel getting to the car, but I kind of think it has to do with the uh, sparks. So, I went out to the barn and grabbed. Uh, Oh, some bits. I found a, I found a new uh, cap. Um, what's in here? Rotor, condenser, and I found a set of points that were laying around. They look new. They're not burnt or anything. They're close to new anyway. So, if that's what I need, that's what I need. I was going to gap what I've got because I mean it ran great. Now it doesn't. So I was going to go ahead and uh, see what's the scoop. I better turn the key off. Yeah. Hopefully I can get this running because um, this is what I drive. But if not, then I'll have to get it around back to the barn somewhere. Around back and see what I got. But anyway that off of there. Let's see what we got. This wasn't uh, what was on the menu for today, but I guess it's what I'm going to be doing. So, turn this around, get it up on a, a lobe there. That looks pretty good. And we'll see what kind of gap I've got. I can't see, so Okay, what I've done is I've uh, gapped my points, and the old rule of thumb was the thickness of a matchbook cover. Well, I used a piece of my uh, box here, and um, so this is the same stuff that was in it. Threw my timing light on it, we'll watch that, and it's hitting at about right there. We're looking at uh, TDC right here. So I'm looking at, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 advanced, give or take, on this old, uh, old uh, centrifugal 09 distributor. So I'm going to call that good. It should run, and it should run well. Um, and if it doesn't, then... Uh, yeah, next step. Alright, well here we go. Let's see what's up. Yeah, this is an all of a sudden thing. I got no idea. What the hell? Actually, think I have a problem with my uh, with my um, accelerator pump. It just doesn't seem like it's right. But since I have points and stuff out here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, yank this distributor out here. I've already loosened the uh, 
bolt here. So pull that guy up out of there. And I'll go ahead and uh, change everything on this and put it back in and see if it helps out my problem. I don't know how long the battery will last, but uh, anyway, so yeah, I pulled the screw out for the points. Get them out of there. And um, yeah, go ahead and uh, pull the condenser off, put another set of points on it. I don't have a tripod or anything out here, so I don't know what I'm going to do for that, but there's my pile of stuff, so uh, yeah, here I am. Yippee. Pardon me anyway. So, uh, yeah, I got the points out. Don't lose the screw. Um, same with the condenser here. It's possible, I suppose, points and condenser. I really think that I have a carburetor problem. And being out here in the driveway, it's a pain in the ass. Because I got no tools out here except for what I brought in my little can here. So uh, I probably have to go back, do all this in the barn. So let's see what we got here. What do I got in here? That's a good Denser. On a bolt so I can, it's got this little uh, mounts on the outside. Got this little plug guy that goes through the, the square hole. Point it up. So we'll do that first, and then the little clamp holds everything down. Yeah, this wasn't what I planned on doing today, but I guess. Gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so here's condenser. This was the points I took out. I've got a, a bit of lube in between my uh, on my flat surfaces, so I'll be able to move that down. So the the new points that I put in there will pick it up. So the points have a little stud down here, which goes in the large hole. And then the screw goes in through the slot at one. Pretty self-explanatory. Don't lose the screw. Keep the wire out of the way. And the camera fell down. Okay. All right, we'll see how that goes. I have no idea. Uh, here I am, yippee. All right, so got my points in and uh, not snug yet. And then, um, oh. I don't know what the uh, gap is on these. I don't use a dwell meter. So, um, I'm just going to use my little piece of paper. Again, I think that's about right. I generally just eyeball them. So that is. Alright, I kind of like that. That ought to work. This was over that way, so drop this back in the hole. The foot on here is offset, so it goes one direction. Make sure none of those pine needles got down in the hole. Alrighty then. Put the new cap on it. And then we'll put the uh, wires on. Same relative position. All right, condenser wire. Then I'll throw my uh, timing light on it. Okay, we'll time this thing and it'll either run way better or I need to do carb work. we're going to find out. Okay, that's about, well, about right, eight or nine degrees. Back it off a little bit. Okay, 
Tighten that down, clampy. And don't break it. Son of a bitch. Okay. Broke my little distributor clamp bolt. Which means we have more problems. Great. Now we're back. Uh, got my little uh, clamp all sorted out. I'm timed. So it's either going to run or I brought wrenches to pull the carb off and take out to the barn and fix. Thank you.